This is a special collaborative robot, hard at work in the plant. It's the first of its kind use and while it looks simple, achieves quite a lot. It's called collaborative as it helps the shop floor associates with their jobs and works with them. What it does is fixes in the door panel you see that helps safeguard the electrical and wiring systems within the door from any damage or exposure to water. The robot pushes the panel into place once an associate fixes it lightly and ensures the adhesive is uniformly applied and fixed. So it started about two years ago. Uh, we were looking for applications for universal robots. Um, we wanted to bring them into assembly so that they could work alongside with the associates. Um, we looked through the plant to figure out which processes may have the biggest ergonomic and quality impacts. Um, after looking through that list, we determined that the door foil process that you see here um, has the biggest ergonomics uh, and quality uh, impact if we were to make it more consistent with some kind of automation process. Um, we started with the development. We brought in one robot. Um, we started testing it on one line and refining the processes and developing the algorithms and uh, updating the tools and, until we found the right process uh, that worked consistently and repeatably and reliably, because here in, in assembly, everything must be um, very repeatable, very dependable, and run nonstop seven days a week. So, um, and then after everything was refined, we, were, uh, we copied the system three more times as we have four door lines, uh, and then uh, and we have the system you see here. The management decided to use a universal robot to replace the larger, bulkier robots you typically see in vehicle manufacturing. Also, those robots typically work without any human intervention as there could be safety issues. The universal robot is smaller has safeguards, so it stops working if it senses human contact and is also less noisy. What this particular operation does is help prevent wrist damage that some associates may sustain over a longer period of time when pressing in the door panel. And now the engineers are looking at what other functions they can replace next with the universal robots. They will also replicate these in the hall that makes the X5 and X6, besides taking it to other BMW manufacturing facilities around the world. We're constantly looking for new ideas. We take feedback from production, from the production associates, uh, from plant management, um, and uh, essentially rank uh, different uh, possibilities and, and uh, what applications we should focus on next. Um, we do have a, a our, our next project, which is uh, a step up kind of in complexity from this, which will be uh, plug installation. Uh, currently the associates are installing plugs, uh, rubber grommets with their thumbs and with ass assisting tools, uh, but that becomes um, still an ergonomic risk and it's also a quality uh, as it, it prevents any kind of uh, dirt and debris and water getting into these, these openings. Um, so they're critical processes and they also improve ergonomics, so that will be the next process that we'll automate. Uh, with, with these kind of uh, robots. The interesting thing is that the robots don't replace humans altogether in a given operation, like the door assembly that you've just seen. They simply assist and collaborate. In an era of automation, that's indeed something new, isn't it? So it's really cool to see how something that looks so simple can make such a huge difference in the efficiency of the whole manufacturing process. So, of course, we're going to look forward to see how it gets implemented in other manufacturing processes around not just this plant, but other plants around the world as well. So, nice little sneak peek there, just for you, here on CMD Bazaar Bus.